Hi there, this is Andreas with ExpressPads Finger Drumming and in this video I'd like to speak about intervals in music. Now what is an interval? An interval is the relative distance between two notes. And what I was playing in the beginning was a chromatic scale and in this scale each and every step is one semitone. And instead of calling all these different steps, um, all these distances, semitone wise so this is one semitone or this is two or this is three and so on in music there's a name a specific name for each and every distance each and every relative distance and that's called an interval and when we go through these we should also have um, or should try to listen and feel the mood that these intervals provide so for example if we play a minor second which is one semitone then we can say that it's really dissonant yeah and the reason for this is that these two semitones or this uh, semitone interval is so close to one another that um, the frequency almost the frequencies almost bite themselves and that's the reason why it is so dissonant the next one is a second, a major second. It's not as dissonant as the minor second, but still it doesn't really sound sweet at all, right? Then we have the minor third. This sounds kind of sweet. And as you know, it's part of the minor chord. Then we have the major third, which is this one. And this one, of course, sounds sweet because it is part of the major major chord. So there's happiness, there's sadness. And then when we go to the next one, which is the perfect fourth, this one, this one sounds almost medieval and it was used in medieval music back then a lot. Then we have the augmented fourth. This one is very dissonant. It's, uh, the same name, by the way, as the uh, diminished fifth. So augmented fourth, diminished fifth, same interval. Then we have the perfect fifth. This is kind of uh, without gender, if you will. So it's it's not really sad or happy. It's really a indifferent um, interval. Next we have the minor 6, that's kind of a sweet one, as well as the major 6, and then it gets more dissonant as well, because here we have the minor 7th and the major 7th, very dissonant again, and eventually if we have an octave here, we'll play two times the same note, but yeah, as it said, it's one octave. And that's also the name of the interval.